Hey there, internet. So, daytime video because I'm done with knee surgery. And that was yesterday. And I didn't do a Saturday night rant because I was busy trying to get as much done as I could before I had to do that. So, ballots dropped in Washington. Uh, we're, of course, here all mail in. And they're some early voting and has started in other states. And in some states, uh, it's got, still coming up. Well, big one is go out and vote. And I'm talking to conservatives here more than anything. There's a lot of people that wonder if it even does any good. I've heard somebody say that. I've heard people say, you know, it doesn't it never counted. Uh, some people don't trust the counters. Well, most, for the most part, counters are doing the best they can. So I can walk, in, here in Skagit County, everybody that's ever been an observer has said, I don't have a problem with the people that I see there, but except for you know refusal to move and try and get a better facility, it's all facility rated, training related. Uh, that's that's the things that they kind of have an issue with. Uh, other states, you sometimes they, they sometimes wonder. Uh, Election reforms have happened in some states, allowing for tighter security, normally in Georgia, where there's already having record turnout for early voting. So the claim that that was voter suppression, bullcrap. In fact, some of the things that they wanted to codify as regular things, they codified. And it's not just the people that are registered. You're registered and you're in Washington or another state that has a lot of no excuse absentee or mail-in voting. You're going to get a ballot, you send it in. If you don't get your ballot for some reason, contact your election officials. But you can still register you have it. A friend of mine posted a, a meme that said 900,000 evangelicals aren't even registered to a vote. Now, I don't know what that, where that comes from. I don't know if it's true. A few years ago, I was hearing a candidate claim that in South, South, Skin, South King County, which didn't apply to them, uh, there was 100,000 evangelicals that weren't registered which seems like a lot well if you're not registered i'm sorry and you're and you're an evangelical if you're a social conservative and you aren't voting you are there's a problem as far as i'm concerned as a, as a christian you have a duty to vote if you want godly leaders you got to go out you got to help select them person i was a part of a what now defunct facebook group called Puget Sound Conservative Underground. I went back and forth with this gal several times. She, 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 her, she was like, you got to produce good candidates to excite these people. Otherwise, they won't come out and vote. I argued that if they came out and vote, they'll get the candidates they want because they can primary the bad candidates. Or they may need to become the bad candidates. So if you're not registered, you can still register in most states. I think Georgia has an 11-day deadline and I really think they should have a cutoff date before, well before election day so we can make sure people are who they say they are are actually in the right precinct those kind of things but if you still have time get out and vote uh, this idea that you shouldn't uh, that's a problem another group sometimes gun owners I heard at the at a PCO meeting that Something like 10,000 gun owners didn't vote in the 10th district here in Washington. And an anti-gun Democrat got elected to the legislature from the 10th district. If those 10,000 voter uh, gun owners had gone out and voted with their guns, that would have been one less person to vote for that magazine ban. And don't think your vote doesn't count because it just seems so astronomical. There's a lot of things that happen at the legislative level. Uh, and some of those races get pretty tight. When I was leading doorbelling efforts in 2010, 2012, there were races that were settled by less than 2,000 votes. I think there was even some less votes settled by less than 300. In LA, during the recall election, oh, I'm catching part of the desk actually in the camera today. In LA, during the recall election, they were, they caught a guy Cheat, attempting to cheat, and yes, they can't cheat everywhere, guys, but sometimes they do catch them. 
with 350 ballots that weren't his. Yes, that's enough to sway a legislative race. And that's really where I'm more concerned about any kind of election integrity. You know, that's easy to swing rather than a presidential election. Uh, so those very narrow races, you got to bury them with ballots. And some people have said, wait till the last day or two to send yours in so they don't know how much they need to make it up by. I don't know if that makes a difference, but if it makes you, if you think it might, do it. I usually just wait on mine. And since I forgot to say the whole like, share, and subscribe, like, share, and subscribe. If I get 20, 20, 20 subscribers by, by October 31st, I'll fill out my ballot on camera. Maybe I'll even try live streaming it. Not that YouTube's going to help me out there. Maybe I'll do it as a Rumble exclusive. Uh, if I do, I'll announce that. But, you know, you, you hold, on, hold on to it. Uh, you know, and sometimes you're going to have to vote for people you'd rather not. I mean, I, it's like I said about the Pennsylvania Senate race. There's no good options there. But look at it this way. Dr. Oz has to have somebody's votes later to win re-election. So he can't go completely libtard. I honestly can't go rhino, even though I think he probably is when I don't trust him any further than I can throw him. And again, look at my little skinny arms. Uh, so you can, do, you know, look at it that way. There's a meme I've seen a lot of liberal people share. It says, it says that voting isn't a mar like marriage. It's more like a bus ticket. You're just trying to get on to where, the bus that will get you the closest it will go or something to that effect. There's some truth to that. You will, you get involved in politics, you will feel dirty. It is a dirty, ugly, nasty, slow game. Uh, in that same 2010 race, they had, I early on agreed to support, start supporting a friend. And this guy came in saying how he was so great. And he had the endorsement of Rob McKenna and I finally slapped him down being part of the executive board when he started demanding things like who was running this and accusing people of being against him. I said, number one, this is all settled out by voters. And number two, you came in insisting everyone support you when there was already someone running in that race. People even told you, go run in the other, for the other legislative seat because nobody declared, but you wanted to run there. And, you know, I, but I got, the first time I got an email from him, I didn't realize it was just a form email they were sending out to all the precinct committee officers. I read it, but then when I realized what it was, I even said in that email that his, the first email he sent out made me feel like a whore just reading it. That's how dirty politics can be. You're somebody you're condemning six months ago, they're liking six months later, and or you're neutral on a year later, everyone's singing his praises, and you're having to make compromises because sometimes, hey, your choices are between bad and worse. Uh, so don't just skip a race. Sitting out does not help you. It certainly didn't help the country when a bunch of evangelicals sat out in 2006, made the Democrats win even bigger. They were probably going to win that, but it made it, made it easier for them to for them to have a 60-seat majority come 2008. So do make a pick and think think about that strategically. Do you think Dr. Even if even if Republicans pick up one race and you're in a you got a choice something like Dr. Oz versus Fetterman or Herschel Walker versus Warnock, one pickup by Republicans is enough to guarantee, or even just a fit, maintain, maintenance of the 50 50 tie, them from getting rid of the filibuster. Maybe that's the only thing you accomplish. Maybe you're just accomplishing someone saying, nope. Not going to do it. Doesn't mean you're going to advance your cause. Sometimes it's time for a strategic retrenchment. Buckle, batten down the hatches and hold the line for a bit while you regroup and consolidate your gains. The pro-lifers, Lindsey Graham has tried to hose a big win with his national abortion ban. It's not that I object to a ban at 15 weeks, after 15 weeks, which is one trimester, roughly. It's that I that it, it was not going to pass, and all it did was stir stuff up for the other side. It was like, thanks for helping Democrats, there, guy. Now is the time for pro for the pro life movement to consolidate your gains, 
Try to make adoption easier. Make sure the services are in place for unwanted children. Make sure you got the laws set for when a mother's life is in danger because that on a rare occasion happens. But so your vote might just be to hold the line. Your vote might just be to prevent any new gun control because Democrats are coming for your guns. I only managed to get four videos out. One was a two-parter, including one be, be, it being one of them being a two-parter. On that, Democrats are coming for your guns. If your issue is inflation, Biden's Inflation Reduction Act not only didn't do any inflation, but his student loan giveaway is going to increase it. That's a reason to vote against him. If you're voting for Maybe your issue is not wanting us to get deeper into Ukraine. Well, maybe a better check on Biden might help. Maybe it's for better energy policy. A check on Biden might help. Man's dumping our strategic petroleum reserve just to try and get gas prices lower so that they can win an election. He tried to push the Saudis to keep from uh, rate cutting oil oil production for another month to keep gas prices from going up for his political benefit. It was a pre quid pro quo that he outright tried in the open. There's a lot of reasons to vote against the Democrats right now, if that's all you're doing. There's not a lot to say, say sometimes for the Republicans because you ask, what is their plan? They haven't put one out. There should have been a contract with America this year and every year since 1992 or 1994. That should have been the first year of it. Because when you can say what you're for, what you will do if you're given power, yes, it makes you, it gives the other side something to complain about. But you can frame it, but you can frame it in a positive way. They are for cutting, not letting the um, groomers groom kids, to put, it, to put it simply. They're not, you know, being LBGTQ does not have anything to do with teaching it to kids under the age of 10. We didn't even have sex ed until I, until I was in fifth grade when I, I went back then. Don't need to do it any earlier, okay? There's no reason to do it any earlier. But the Democrats seem to think you need to talk to five-year-olds about their 55 made-up genders. You don't need to have, Republicans are, yeah, they say, what are they gonna do? Maybe all they do is say no to any new gun control. No to gun bans. Just stopping something is, in a way, being for something. If you like things the way they are, or you're, until you can go on the offense, you certainly don't want to have to claw back more, gra more ground. So, regardless of that, vote, 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 vote. But get that ballot in before November 8th. November 7th is fine if you want to hold on to it. I'm always a procrastinator anyway because you never know what might pop up at the last minute. That's usually my excuse. And if you're in Pennsylvania and you're wavering, you might want to wait till Fetterman and Oz debate because maybe you'll see how that Fetterman is not in a condition to be a senator. Maybe one day he'll recover enough. But right now, he's not able. I'm sorry, but you can't have a... Just like I wouldn't pick a firefighter to be somebody that was quadriplegic, you gotta have a, you can't have a senator that's not capable of debating, and you gotta wonder if he even understands what he's doing. You don't certainly don't want to turn something like that over, knowingly turn something like that over to somebody that's not capable. So until then, you all take care, and maybe we'll be back for a Saturday night rant on Saturday.